right guys so here we have the ford explorer uh, it's a 2021 model and this is kind of like my i guess a review in a way or now mind you this is not a base explorer but it is right above entry level because i think it's base and then xl i believe it's a uh, base and then you get xlt model so with your standard uh 18 inch wheels uh, this model comes with 300 horsepower and 300 pound feet of torque this model here weighs 5300 pounds and this particular this particular model gets an mpg of 21 miles per city in the city 28 highway now that is what is stated on the stats uh, but we're gonna end up putting it of course to the test and real life situation uh once it's loaded with kids etc but let's so let's start here with the front you guys notice the the headlight you do have that nice little explorer uh written on there you know so that you won't forget that it's an explorer uh I'm going to because i think they if i believe it, they start off at fifty five thousand dollars and uh you know that's a that's a way higher entry point than this model here uh so the st does have different uh i think it's like dark inside this one here is chrome inside uh let's go to the grill here Let, uh, and so the grill the grill on the xlt will have chrome as you can see here and it'll have this black like gloss paint right there you guys can see that um and then you have your ford emblem um me i didn't want the license plate like this but i completely forgot to uh let them know not to you know drill holes because i was going to go ahead and they do offer a stow and go kit for the ford explorers uh 2020 through 2021 uh for so fyi if you guys are planning to buy one they do have a stow and go kit available for it um just go ahead and uh I, I, maybe i'll leave the link down below i'm not sponsored by them but the, you know if you guys do plan on buying one of these you guys can know where to purchase that now let's move on here to to this area now this xlt did not have now there's another thing that i do want to mention with this ford explorer it is a 10 speed automatic with select shift and and it also has the auto start uh technology auto on off auto start on or off technology which means uh once you reach a stoplight you can uh go on on echo and you it'll turn off uh completely on a stop or a stoplight and you know it uh, apparently to save uh on mpgs i do want to go over this particular color and for this year model this is a this is called carbonized gray and i do got to say it is very very nice now i am not i didn't particularly pick this color uh because i'm a uh, because of my mustang or anything like that because as i was going to say this color replaces the magnetic metallic for ford and now it is called the carbonized gray but i do gotta say it is a very 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 nice color it really does pop also i want to mention that for this model year they did switch back to rear wheel drive for the ford explorer which is pretty interesting because in 2016 they were front wheel drive and um it does make for a, a different ride uh quality you you can kind of tell right away but you know there is the all-wheel drive model is the 202a so it does come standard with your 18 with your 18 inch wheels uh, metallic wheels and they do look uh, pretty nice you know that's of course the uh, it's different than the more premium models which do come in the i believe uh 20s or 21s but don't quote me on that also let's go ahead and take a look here really quick uh as as you approach here on this on this particular model this is standard now for the ford explorer you do have your lock and unlock and go ahead and it goes ahead and opens up now as we open the hood um i'm going to give you a quick rundown 
of this engine so just so one of the real quick things that i want to explain here the cool thing is once you pr uh, press uh that release hood button all you do is just lift it it has no more uh, handle to that you have to press the only thing is it, and, and one thing i do want to mention as well is this this is very light like uh, i don't even lift weights I haven't lifted weights in like maybe eight years and uh this is super super light compared to other hoods uh but you still do have your uh prop rod here so let me go ahead and do that so i do just want to mention really quick before you go inside the vehicle it does have your keypad entry uh you can go ahead and set the code up as well so you can have keyless entry into this vehicle uh, i just wanted to kind of point that out before going inside the vehicle so now i'm going to trouble you it's kind of strong out here uh, it does it does look uh, updated here uh, compared to the 2016 i had a 2016 ford explorer and uh it is it is very well to me it is very well pretty well done i am um, you know it's not like high high material but uh very nice sleek looking door handle and then mold molding to go around it uh we have your up and down uh, window uh, switches for your you also have you have your up and down window switches you also have your side view mirrors uh the control to control them and uh, your window lock button there as well and uh, as we come across it this way this is kind of like a synthetic leather maybe uh finish and let's go around this way <clears throat> reminder like i said sorry the the vehicle is dirty a little dirty so we come here around here right here and we have your these are your forward backward uh controls for your seats and your uh, reclining controls as well as your bolster control there and in this particular model i, I went with the base didn't want to get anything too flashy uh honestly it's not a not a biggie uh, but i went with uh cloth seats now hear me out here so you know like how leather seats get really hot in the summer and in the cold in the in the you know when it's cold they get super cold well these are awesome so if you get if you get this option and you don't mind having cloth seats it's how it's it's actually it actually works out pretty good you this vehicle right here has front seat uh heated seats so this front seat and the passenger seat is heated uh i'm not sure why i i read up that in 20 uh 2020 this particular the xlt model had also had the heated second row seats but for this year they decided to discontinue that for whatever reason not sure uh but they kind of shouldn't have in my opinion they should have kept the second row uh for heated seats but you know that's uh that was something ford decided not to do for this year uh but they kind of should have kept it in my opinion and now as we go into uh the control setting here you have your lift gate button your headlight button and here it's the, these controls here are to brighten brighten or dim the lights on your speedometer and you have the your settings here for your automatic headlights and as we come around in here i do want to point out uh the steering wheel is is very very nice uh it, it's not a skinny thin steering wheel uh nice and and uh you know a little wider than your normal steering wheel i do want to say this though that for this year 2021 this steering wheel is a lot better looking and just a, just a better overall feel to it uh definitely the ford did improve to me they did improve this area here on this explorer compared to the 2016 now we do have your uh minus and plus buttons for the for the music and your cruise control buttons here you have your bluetooth uh controls here and this is just to kind of cycle through that menu that we that you have there uh and then as we come around here you ha do have a 
pretty nice sized screen but i will get into the details of that later uh, so here is the start button. All you do is just like in your any other uh, vehicle, modern vehicle nowadays, you press the, the brake button, start up your vehicle. And so let's go ahead and close the door here. Oops, didn't want to close it that hard. So as we get into the infotainment here, I mean, in this uh, speedometer area, you have your RPMs, uh, you have your average uh, mile per gallon, you have there your your mileage this vehicle now has 2000 miles and your speedometer over there uh your tank uh meter there and your water temp uh down there so you have your also you also have your fuel economy and you see that little car on that side that is your lane assist so this vehicle does come equipped with your lane assist and as you can see oh, on this side, you get your little uh, car, you have your little car emblem. I don't know if you can see it there. Uh, let me see, let me try to focus up there, whoops. There you go, you can kind of see that right there. That's your lane assist. Uh, and I do want to say it does work pretty well. And another cool, f so yeah guys, this, the lane assist is pretty good. You can you can literally take the your hands off the steering wheel, but I would not suggest doing that. You know, just keep your hands on the steering wheel. But in case you do fall asleep, let's say you're on a long, in a long drive, you happen to fall asleep, lane assist will will hook, you know, back you up, kind of put you back in your lane, and it'll start chiming and let you know, hey, you know what, you need to keep your hands on the steering wheel. Uh, you're starting to swerve in and out of your lanes. Uh, so uh, I do want to go over uh, what one thing that this vehicle does have, and it has a terrain uh, management. So, so as you guys can see here, this is your terrain management. Uh, this is your traction control. This one is like a <clears throat> uh, auto start, stop, uh, switch. Um, so that you can turn your car on with the auto start. Uh, you can turn it off and on with that. And you have your your terrain uh, management here. So as I press this, let me go ahead and show you. As I press those buttons, you will see you have normal mode, echo mode, or eco you have sport mode tow and haul mode and uh, you can cycle between these modes slippery mode and you get you know a little nice little animation going on there as you choose your modes you get trail mode so when you go on a trail <laughs> and those are it so you have quite a uh choice there to choose between and uh you know pretty convenient uh right here you have your option to turn off uh lane assist let me just kind of right there as you can see there you can go ahead and and turn it off and you get uh right there your icon went away now i'm going to turn it on and your icon is right back at at that area uh here now and so here we have your windshield wiper controls. Now here is the infotainment center. It is a very well, uh, pretty uh, responsive infotainment center. This is your latest sync from Ford and you can just kind of cycle through everything. I'm not gonna turn it on because you know, uh, don't wanna get copyrighted, but you can choose your apps. You can connect your phone and you can choose your apps, you can connect your phone, you can go into your apps if you're uh, connected because it does have CarPlay as well. So you do get CarPlay with it. And here we come down to the control area. Now it's not like a lot of buttons, which is kind of cool. You also have here something, I guess maybe, you know, you can put your phone or some glasses, uh, but you do have your glass, uh, your glasses, uh, area your area for your glasses you know for, to store them uh your lights here for your dome and here you have your vanity mirrors uh led lights and so here the, these these buttons look well, well done you know it's not too overdone nothing uh too complicated you have your heated front seats it's not cooled so i just do want to mention that really quick it's, it's only heated seats uh now you do have your temperature control and it is dual climate so you can uh you know choose whatever uh 
for your passenger they want to be a little hotter they could uh, go to hot or they could go to cold and right here you have your ac controls standard ac controls and stuff like that uh, but you do not have a cd uh, if you know if you're still into cds you do not have that option anymore and here let's go down real quick this is just like a little storage area you have your standard ac dc um and you have your apple carplay right there now for this vehicle you do have your little gear selector shift thing uh right here if you pull on this it's basically a park brake instead of having a park brake over here now you have it up here so if you want to disengage it you just press down and you get a message up here and it says to disable it so we'll go here we have to press the brake to disable it and press ok oops hold on let me do it again ok there you go now you saw the brake uh, was dis disabled so we come around here and, and it's uh, like I said pretty pretty standard stuff but I do want to mention it is a very comfortable ride uh, I've been driving it for uh, some time as you can as you can tell and right here you also have your uh, area where you can put a phone here as well as right here where these cup holders are there's quite a bit of cup holders there's two there's an area for a cup holder there there's an area for a cup holder here but I have a microfiber towel storage compartment there now these mats the vehicle does not come with them this explorer does not come with them uh, but you know I had you I do have a link down below if you would like to purchase yourself some of those uh, but yeah they do not this explorer uh, only actually only came with the you know the carpet mats and well here we have your you know your storage compartment pretty good compartment I also do want to mention that I I believe in the upgraded uh, Explorer trim you do get this uh, with the option to charge your phone so I do want to mention that don't want to forget that to uh, to add that so for this year model they do include uh, roof racks for the truck they did come standard and now let's get around here and so here you can see we do have a cup holder pretty good size cup holder uh you know you could fit a large cup from uh, basically almost any restaurant there uh, we do have this done nicely uh right here with this trim another cup holder so there's two areas for cup holders for the back seat passengers in case they want to get to drinks <laughs> and like i said just excuse the mess because this is the family vehicle so it is going to be a little messy with kids stuff uh but i do want to this truck came with the captain uh captain chairs uh for the second row now you do have the option to opt out for the bench for those that want to get that extra passenger uh because with this model you can only sit six people and with the bench you can actually sit you can actually sit seven and like i said sorry for the mess guys uh don't mind my daughter's toy bed down there a doll bed or whatever but as you can see this is a cup holder uh, like a little area for the for the people sitting in that second row you have your cup holders and on the two little sides you have like a phone holder or something and then you have another place where you could kind of put stuff there uh but you know it in a way uh when you have kids especially small kids this kind of doesn't really uh you know wouldn't really make a difference if it was there or not but uh like i said another more cup holders you know you got two hook cup holders on the on the passenger doors and you have two more over here so you have a total of six cup holders for this just just for this whole rear area the second row and now moving on to this center area here uh you do have your ac controls for the rear you do have your 12 volt here and another charging port here as well as a c-type uh charging uh, entry there and you do have like a little compartment here to store you know uh, your phone or a candy bar or some chi a small bag of chips now let me go ahead and show you just how easy this is to move to the front all you do is that push to the front and there you go it is moved all the way uh, like i said excuse my daughter she's 
left kind of like her little doll toys everywhere here so now we are here in the back the third row and as you can see it's only for two passengers you do have your cup holder here and a little bit of like storage little compartments as well as you can see everything fits pretty good you know the car seat uh, fits very well you can fit pretty good back there because i've already sat there so uh you know if you're if you're around at least under six feet tall or at six feet tall i'm pretty sure you could fit very well in this back seat this same goes for the second row here of this vehicle now let's go to the back so as we were saying uh this vehicle does come with kind of like a little does kind of come with the little protection and it does have the your backup sensors there as well as your wiper blade and your brake light up there so let's go ahead and open this trunk and the way you would access this trunk is you have your key in your pocket press that button and back here this storage area will be a little bit smaller than the year 2016 model just because this version is a rear rear wheel drive version compared to the 2016 model which was a front wheel drive now you do have a cool little uh led light here with your 12 volt charging uh, you can hang your net that goes across from here to this side you know for your uh your groceries you do have some little uh loops here and you do have a storage area where you can store, you know, some some drinks, uh, snacks, microfiber uh, towels, or you name it, your gloves, like or what I should have been doing. Um, here, these mats do not belong here, but I am waiting for a mat to arrive because when you usually buy mats for this vehicle, they don't. It doesn't come with your last. Uh, your cargo area one you do have to purchase it, purchase it separately but i'm just using these for the sake of you know not letting the rug get too dirty but let's go ahead and access down there as you can see you have a little lift here uh, you can lift it up right there and it has an awesome nice little storage area you have little compartments there as well as this big compartment and you have your other compartment there if i were to lift that you can open that and singles for this side as well and right here you do have your safety for your car seats and stuff like that where they can hook up there now this right here to fold it down all you need to do is this it'll fold down and then this does fold completely and that is basically the whole review for this vehicle now to close this tailgate all you'd have to do is just press the button and it will go down and close. You can also press that lock button that you saw on the side and it'll lock the vehicle as well. Now you do, it does come with your LED lights, which look pretty good at night. But overall, it is a pretty neat family vehicle. You know, you could uh, say it is it is a, a very nicely done. I have I had seen these down the road once in a blue moon and when they barely started coming. But here you, look, on the on the area front area, what I do want to mention is uh, in case I forgot to mention is it does not come with fog lights. That is an option. Uh, but, you know, I didn't want to pay extra for that. We really don't need them. So on other vehicles i've had fog lights and i don't even use them guys so that is up to you honestly if you want fog lights or not uh but that is my review for the 2021 ford explorer 